Hey guys, uh, Tim O'Keefe, Spider Juice Technologies. What I'm doing is uh, actually putting together a tutorial for a client for uh, being able to put together videos uh, somewhat aimless, uh, painlessly, not aimlessly, painlessly, uh, and, uh, and and do it with some sort of speed and, and, and make it somewhat of somewhat decent quality. So the person I'm thinking of is, is, a, is a realtor and uh, this works for anybody, but but certainly a realtor, certainly a uh, a local business um, that wants to, as I say, like I like to say, you, to be an ambassador or an advocate for their local community. And so, what uh, I have suggested to anybody uh, that's local in my uh, my consulting is to take advantage of social media and if anything as a methodology to store photos uh, that you take a, a, a around town um, certainly uh, like yesterday I took there's construction going on at our mall well who cares but I was out and I didn't know that it was even happening and uh, we do blogging services uh, for our clients and we have a client right here in town so I thought wow I'll go be a reporter um, with my camera and I uploaded it to my social media uh, and I, people are like why are you putting up a picture of the mall but I use that and I repurpose it you know you know for a lot of things and so I uh, I uh, would take that photo down and then um, my blogger will put it up into our clients uh, blog and talk about the uh, what's going on at the at the reconstruction of the mall right no big deal probably to you but interesting to a local uh, person so you can repurpose and use your stuff throughout social media and that's not what this is about but it is a uh, it is on a smaller tactical level it's a piece uh, in the in the a process in a much larger process uh, that we we like to talk about but you gotta crawl before you can walk and walk before you can run so let's crawl and learn how to make a quick video and put it up on YouTube so uh, what we're gonna do is actually I gotta create some quick photos and I could download them and already have them ready but I want to kinda teach you how to create a, uh, a, a a slideshow if you're not using photos like I just talked about so I'm going to take a slide uh, a picture of my website uh, here I'm just gonna do here get get uh, get that going and then I'm and, and by the way what I just did was take a screenshot of my screen through TechSmith Snagit and uh, that's what you see popping up right now so I'm going to go back, I'm going to get this uh, cool logo that we have. And now these are smaller photos, so they might get blown out and, and uh, kind of look kind of uh, wide, not very res poor resolution, I guess is the right word, uh, when I show it on on uh, YouTube now by the way uh, I think I just said that's TechSmith I'm using for the screenshot I'm doing this video in Camtasia and part of the reason I am doing this is because I had a conversation with somebody earlier today and uh, I, I said look you don't need your voice you don't you don't need any of that but you can do a presentation so I'm showing you how to do an easy way without your voice and just we're going to overlay music onto this video in, in, a, in about the most simple way that, that I know uh, to get it up on YouTube. But uh, what you're experiencing right now is me doing an actual presentation and just running my voice through my computer's microphone, which isn't the most optimal a uh, great quality way of, of doing it but as a uh, as a mentor uh, taught me uh, long ago it's better to do something crappy than not at all so <laughs> let's uh, let's continue so I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna take a couple of these uh, these slideshows here off of the website and I'm gonna keep those 
and I'm going to switch. Okay, we'll do social media and SEO. We'll slideshow there. And we'll take one more. You, you don't need a lot of you don't need you, you don't need a lot of uh, photos to, to pull this off. So I'm gonna uh, not make you sit through this. I'm going to save these photos to my desktop and then we'll uh, see you back uh, and we'll be looking at YouTube at that point. All right, we're at YouTube and I hit the button upload right here in the upper right. And normally if you have a ready-made video, you would just hit this, but I don't. I have a slideshow. So we're going to hit this and it's going to ask me to upload pictures, right? I could either use pictures from my own photos, my photo albums, or from or I can upload photos. I'm going to upload photos. Okay, so you can name this something descriptive so that you can reference it later. So I'm going to hit upload. So all those pictures are uploading now. So what you're going to see uh, now, again, this is assuming you have a YouTube channel, all that. I'm not going to get into all that. But uh, what I've just done is create, uh, uh, I have some slides right here, right, that can be photographs or whatever or what I did and I have what I call uh, bookends and I like to have bookends when doing this so that it's branded towards me if someone rips off this video say I make a really cool local video uh, about town like I've done one of the uh, the local parade military parade here in town and and uh, you know if I just put it up anybody can rip it down and put it on their channel and but if they do it has my branding on it um, and so uh, you can do this simply in this uh, this way of doing slideshows by just creating bookends and you would just upload your bookend twice so that you can just drag it down to here so I'll drag this down it's kind of goofy the way it works it doesn't always work as perfect as you want as you can tell but this will be the beginning right because I'm not going to upload it to save time I'm not going to upload it twice so the bookend could be here and then here right and then the slides and then my bookend I'll hit next and now it's going to show that I can make any kind of transition or whatever to make it kind of cute and pretty uh, I can make the time be slow or fast. I can make it pan and zoom or none. So this is a slide transition, yeah, radial wipe, right? And then I could put music. There's tons of music on here. If you don't want audio, do the put it here. All right? So now I'm going to hit upload and we've got a video. And that's how you do it. Now, if you want to, let me see here. There, uh, so how did I do this video? I did Camtasia. How did I clip? Do clip art? I did. I used TechSmith. Okay. There is when I do look here, Mozilla Screen Chap, uh, Capture Add-on. You can add it right into uh, some of these tools right into your Firefox for free. The stuff I'm using is a paid, are paid softwares. I don't know how well these other ones work. There is a website called Screener, and uh, let me see if I could show you that. That so this site Screener, S C R E E N R dot com, is how to make the presentation like I just did. Now you could do it like I do if you want to do it with your voice and into your computer like I'm doing it. Uh, where you just, uh, you know, you either do it the way I am with looking at browsers and, and so forth, or what a lot of people do to get more professional, they'll use uh, PowerPoint uh, presentations. But I was trying to show you something that's fast, 
uh, and even though this is run on because I'm trying to explain everything, nevertheless, it is uh, it is a pretty fast way to do this if you are able to get yourself a uh, a screen capture. Uh, but this is a screen recorder. Camtasia does screen recording, screen capture, and you could talk into it, etc. Uh, TechSmith um, does both. It allows you to screen capture, but it also allows you to, to do images. So that's pretty cool. Um, but again, like I said, there's Mozilla clip art that uh, are, are screen capture. You just got to look around for the right words. I, I, I'll try to list them in the description after this but um, so going back to upload uh, so I would just hit upload and let's see so uploads right here so this is cool stuff and this is where I would title it so how to make a quick screen or let's call it quick video from photos uh, by the way, you can also, since I'm naming things, you could do Movie Maker, etc. Uh, right there from your Windows app, and if you want to get cute, your iPhone and your Android, but that takes a little bit uh, more work, I think. Um, some people prefer things different ways. So I'll put my description in here later. I'll put my tags in here later. Uh, right here and this is automatically going to go over to my Google Plus as a post so um, I'm already starting my my social dissemination of this information downwards um, so uh, here I'll pick my thumbnail so that's how you do it guys it's it's uh, it's just stupid easy uh, I could have done that. I've done, now, granted, I do this a lot. I could have done that in less than probably three minutes, five minutes, if I really wanted to. Uh, I have a lot of practice, but at the most, this is a ten-minute job. If you know, if you're doing your camera stuff, you know, you're doing it off your smartphone. Uh, you can upload it to your Google Plus right away, and then and and uh, reference the photos. I think right out of Google Plus. Or uh, often, what I'll do uh, because I don't, I don't, I use a different Google on my phone than I do normally for business. Um, I will mail through Gmail on my phone uh, to my uh, my regular email on my desktop, and I'll control the photos from my desktop. And I'm, I just prefer to do it that way because I'm, I'm old school, but. Uh, Anyway, um, or what you could do is upload it to Google Plus and Instagram and Facebook and, 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 all these socials, and you could just download it off there when you get home, right? And you're sitting in front of the computer and you're doing what I'm doing right now. So, all right, hopefully that gives you a lot of ideas on how to do this really in a really stupid, simple, ridiculously easy way. If you're not making videos, uh, you're missing out uh, you need to be doing your videos with your blogging like you know all the time because videos matter uh, they're social they're Google owned on YouTube or even if they're not it's adding rich media to your blog posts and and it adds to the um, it adds to the uh, the stickability of somebody so they don't bounce right off of your website so that's another reason why why videos matter the problem with videos to just talk a little bit further about this is that most people think it has to be commercial quality and therefore they don't ever get it done while the rest of us kick out tons and tons of videos all the time because we realize it's not about commercial quality it's about reality TV and that's what the social media is, is reality television. And uh, like I said earlier, doing it crappy is better than not doing it all. And um, so hopefully this has been helpful. Um, I'm not saying not to make your commercial quality stuff. I'm saying that, you know, you're better off doing it with speed and, uh, and every once in a while going commercial quality. But getting out the information fast is better than not at all.